Hardships come. Thank Jesus showed us that. Yes. Pray in the garden of Gethsemane. Yes. And here's the thing that you must understand. Thank you, you have to do this by yourself. Yes. All glory be unto God. Amen. You're not going to have anybody to be in the midst of this with you. Glory. You're going to have to do it by yourself, Amen. brother Ron. Amen. You're not going to have somebody to buffer for you. Yes. But you're going to have to do it all by yourself. Oh, Baby girl, you got to do it by yourself. You oh, and the Lord got to get this done. Yeah. Yeah. Say amen. Yeah. He didn't say we fought a good fight. Yeah. He didn't say we kept the faith. Yeah. Everything was personal. I have fought a good fight. Yeah. And I have kept the faith. And now I am ready. Yeah. What's interesting about him? Yes. He saw it come. Yes, he did. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's okay if it catches you off guard. Mm -hmm. yes. But when you see it coming, uh -huh. and you have no way out, yes. glory be unto your name. Yes. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All you can do is stand and wait on yes. God. Amen. Hallelujah. All you can do is stand and wait stand on God. Stand and wait on God. 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 But you know that his work wasn't futile. It wasn't going to be empty. It wasn't going to be void. You know that his work had a reward for it. Amen. And he simply says, now from this point forward, mm -hmm. How can he make that statement? It's simply this, is that I relinquish myself from this world mm -hmm. and its possessions. Well, you have to make that decision one day, y'all. Yes, no, no, no. Can't worry about who's going to get what. Amen. Or what you're going to get when somebody dies. Yes. That ought to make all of us smile right there. All right. All right. All right. Just wonder right there. Yes. He relinquished himself. From this world. He wasn't mm -hmm. worried about the house because he didn't have one. He was in jail. Yeah. Was in amen, amen. He wasn't Thank worried you, about Jesus. his inheritance because he didn't have one. He said God was his inheritance. Hallelujah. He strictly lived by faith. Now, if you read down here, you're going to find that he was talking. He asked about his cloak and the parchment of books. But the thing is, is that he relinquished himself from this world. Yeah. And we must also relinquish ourselves from it. Now, that's why the doctrine of materialism. We need to be very careful about that because it, mm -hmm. we, are, we are being possessed by it rather than possessed by the possession. Amen. We are being possessed by it rather than possessing the possessions. And so in his, as he journeys through this hardship in his life, uh, he talks about the fact that for him there's a promise. There's a result. And the promise is simply this. There's a crowned of Amen. life, Amen. a crown of righteousness oh. laid up for me with the Lord, the righteous judge has given to me at that day. And not only me, but for all That's right. of them also that love his appearing. There is a reward for all of us, Amen. for all of you. Yes. It's predicated on one thing. Oh. Are you ready to go through? Oh. Have you what it takes to endure this life, that we, we have what is necessary to hang in there with this, with this life. Do you, do you have the ability to love when it's, love shouldn't be in the picture according to the world? Love your enemy, love your neighbor, uh, love your enemy as you love yourself. Do you have that kind of agape love dwelling in your house, in your heart? Uh, do, you, do you have an unselfish heart? Do you live an unselfish uh, life? Do you have a Christ-centered life? Do you have a Christ-centered life? Do you have that uncompromising faith in God? Or are you willing to just give it away at any time, at any place? Because there's something you want in return for it. You see, he's letting him know that there is a righteous, a yes, crown of righteousness yes, for you. I hear some people think that their crown is going to be larger than others, but let me tell you something. It's all going to look the same. Amen. And God doesn't have to give me a crown. I just want to be able to know. Amen. 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 I just, Amen. I, I just want to make it clear. Amen. Amen. I, I just want to get it to yes. Amen. Amen. You can get it for me if you want to. Just say oh, yes. Thanks. Yes. 
Amen. Anybody, yes. anybody yes. want to get there before me? You go ahead. Yes. Yes. He's coming to save him a place. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. On the way, he lists some people yes. that have done him wrong. Yes. He lists some of those who have stabbed in the back. Yes. Some of those who have plotted against him. Yes. If you read throughout the end of the chapter, you see that there were some people who tried to disrupt. Yes. His work in the Lord. Yeah. You are going to get that, beloved. Well, you are going to get that. Now, right. here is where the rubber meets the road. Come on now. Uh -huh. And they are disrupting what God is doing for you. Do you focus on what they are doing or you stay well, focused on the things of God? Oh, yeah. 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 What are you going to do? Are you going to focus on the disruption? Are you going to focus on the is going to come as sure as you are feeling. Yes, it is. But as that disruption comes, we cannot concentrate or spend time on the distraction. Amen. We ought to spend our time on the Lord. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, let the Lord handle the small things. Let the Lord handle the small things. And look at that neighbor again and say, let the Lord handle the big things. Let the Lord handle the big things. You say, old neighbor, let him handle it all. Let him handle it all. You got, you got to let God handle that stuff. Do what the Lord will have you do, to do if you're always distracted. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But I'm here to tell you, I've been long Thank enough. Yes. I've been around long enough. Yes. I've seen enough in life yes. to know that if God be for you, yes. He can be against you. Listen, whether I'm incarcerated or whatever I am going through yeah. or whatever the case okay. may be, I'd rather be going through what I'm going through with God on my Thank side. Rather than to be going through what I'm going through without God being on my side. Amen. I'd rather be alive and in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Than to die without Christ oh, in my life. himself a perfect man. Uh, Amen. He just, listen, he let the world know that he was anti-Christ at one time. Uh, he let us let the world know that he was an enemy against Christ. Yes, but he met the Lord and the Lord changed his life. And once Paul was in, he was in all the way. Once he was on the Lord's side, he was on the Lord's side all the way. What kind of man was he? He was a well-educated man. When you're reading this New Testament, no one wrote more letters than the Apostle Paul. Luke wrote more by volume, but not in letters. And he even mentioned Luke's in this letter, that in this last chapter, that we're talking about. But the fact remains is that this man was ready he was focused. He wasn't concerned about the distractions. Oh, nah. He was letting his son know, as I am letting you know, uh -huh. I'm letting you know that there is a reward for you. Yes. Thank you, God. There is a reward for you. Amen. There is a prepared place for you. Yes. And as we live this life now with the blessings of God reigning in our lives, let us not forget what the Lord has for us. Yeah. Amen. And so you're going to have amen, opposition. Amen. You're going to have distractions. Amen. Amen. You're going to have hardships. Oh, yes. But as you're going through those hardships, uh -huh. remember Jesus. Yeah. He had a hardship. Yes, yeah. yeah, he did. Remember David. Yeah. Over 20 years yeah. in the wilderness before he sat on his throne. Yeah. yeah. He was a king uh -huh. with the king, but no throne. Yeah. Well, Running from a king, Jesus. and even his own son. Amen. 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 Hardship was in his life, yeah. but he kept right on going. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know about hardships, ask grandma and great grandma now yeah. if they had any hardships in yeah. life. Yeah. They'll tell you about the hardships that they had. Yeah. They'll tell you about the lack of opportunity. They'll tell you about yeah. the things that they had to endure. They let you know the one thing that was a constant in their life, uh -huh. the only consistent thing that existed in their life, yeah. was their relationship with their Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If God be for you, who can be against you?